A very warm welcome to the Gallagher Stadium. It's the Kent Football Association Under-16 Girls' Cup Final. It's Maidstone United against Tankerton. Gloria Sunshine greeting the two sets of players as they make their way onto the field. Ben Marshall, the referee, assisted by James Harris and Natalie Smith. Dutch Molesky is the fourth official. Maidstone starting 11 and substitutes listed on your screen. They're managed by Dave Dadson, who is assisted by Paul Jenner. For Tankerton in the blue and black stripes, their manager is Dean Gonsalves, assisted by Dale Tinkerton and the physio Sarah Alton. Corner swung in from Charlotte Watts. Oh, it was very nearly turned home at the Neil Post by uh, Vasilevska. Good strong start this from Maidstone. That's Robbins. And Mayhead! Only inches wide. Trying to clear the lines at the moment. This is Brainer. And then Robbins saved by Yannick. Good hold up play from Redford. Nice drop. There's a clearance, it's a goal kick. Goal kick to be taken by Lily Folks. Played short. Closed down by Redford. This is Summers. Brought down by Westrop. Is it a penalty? Yes! The referee, Ben Marshall, points to the spot. Big moment this in the game. Alice Summers against Lily Folks, and she tucks the penalty away. And Tankerton lead by one goal to nil. It's a very confident penalty under pressure. She just puts it straight in the corner. for a way back into this game. Free kick. Watts. Saved by the feet of Ethan Yannick. The ball towards Daisy Redford. It's Redford. Trying to get the better of Whittam. Still Redford. It's behind. folks been intercepted Daisy Redford needs some support the support comes in the shape of Alice Summers but it's uh, just off target so long ball over the top real good chance this it's just wide great chance for Lucy Brainer Robbins Watts Goal kick. Scooped forward. It's bobbling around. It might fall here for Redford. It's Redford! It's 2 0. The Tankerton goal machine has scored her 24th goal of the season. And in doing so, she has put her team in a commanding position in this cup final. She waited for it to come down, and when it sat up, bang! No chance for Lily, folks. It's 2-0. Confident finishing. Summers, she's got the pace. Gets the cross in. Good defending by a combination of Rayner and Westrop to deny Redford. It's only the goal from somewhere. There's the pull back and the shot just wide on this occasion from Armstrong. Going all alone here, Redford. Good save by Lily Folks, who had to come out and save bravely. Still hope for Maidstone, but they need a goal from somewhere. And that's not a bad effort. Just over the crossbar. Corner. Here it comes. Head up. Oh, back off the bar. I think it was Maya Brooks. It fell for Armstrong. She couldn't convert. And eventually. Ufa Yannick pounces on it. It's a long throw from Watts. And then 
around that penalty area. Here's the pullback, a chance taken by Immy Armstrong. It's game on. Maidstone pull a goal back. It looked like it was going out for a goal kick. But chasing a lost cause, the cross comes in and Immy Armstrong made no mistake. Long throw. Cleared away by Ulusoy. Shot for a penalty, and then the shot coming in, and it was just over. They're trying to clear the ball. And there goes the final whistle. Tankerton have won the Kent Football Association Under-16 Girls Cup. They have beaten Maidstone United in their own backyard by two goals to one. Full credit to Maidstone. They had those chances early on. They had those chances late on. They might well look back at what could have been, but they certainly played their part in an entertaining final. They can hold their heads up high. Led up by the captain, Sophie Birrell. It's Tankerton that come to collect their winners' medals. Plenty of smiles in amongst those players who have worked hard this evening. They defended well. They took their chances. And Sophie Birrell has her hands on the Kent Under-16 Girls' Cup. It's been won by Tankerton. Congratulations to them. 2-1 winners over Maidstone United here at the Gallagher Stadium.